Good evening and welcome to Christians Aren't Cheap, a beginner's guide to meditation. My name is Ron, I'm the host of this show, and this is a channel you don't need to subscribe to, you don't have to hit the like button, and I won't ask you for any donations. This is just simply a place where you can come and hang out, keep current with what I'm doing, and uh, do a little meditation, do a little devotional to give you something to meditate on. Yeah, so that's what we do here. Uh, okay, it is Sunday night. Sunday night football is going to be starting here right away, so thought I'd get down here and do our devotional time. Thought maybe after the game might be a little bit late. So, yeah. And tonight's devotional gets us right back to the beginning of the Bible. Starting with verse 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then moving on to verse 20. Then God said, Let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures of every and every living thing that scurries and swarms in the water and every sort of bird, each producing offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And evening passed, and morning came, marking the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth produce every sort of animal, each producing offspring, of the same kind, livestock, small animals that scurry along the ground, and wild animals. And that is what happened. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to produce offspring of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image. Let us make human beings <laughs> in our image, to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, the livestock, and all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and govern it, reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Yeah. The uh, vastness of God's creation is really hard to take in and to fully under to come anywhere close to understanding he made everything that we would need and everything that he made meshes into the circle of life <laughs> that just keeps perpetuating itself amen amen And this evening's devotional is called Stewards Unaware. Recently, I met the captain of a boat featured on Wicked Tuna, National Geographic Channel's reality TV show. The show follows the lives, lives of bluefin tuna fishermen. Sadly, illegal practices and overfishing have seriously threatened the population of that fish. 
The captain told me of steps taken to protect the tuna population. When I remarked, that's a fantastic act of stewardship. He asked, are you religious? To him, stewardship was a religious word. I told the captain, I believe in a creator God who created human beings and that we're to steward, to take care of the earth. I explained that even if people don't realize it, they practice stewardship because that's part of what God created us to do. The captain admitted that seeing the intricate design of the blue fin tuna sometimes makes him want to believe, wants to be religious. <clears throat> I responded, I'm going to pray that you will find the creator of the blue fin tuna. You never know what conversations may open up when you affirm the efforts of others who unknowingly reflect what God created us to do. Uh, that's pretty interesting. That, that, that captain just <laughs> immediately thought of stewardship as being religious. Uh, yeah. So there you go. We can meditate on God's creation, the vastness of it, the intricacy of it. Yeah. Okay. Now, back to my world. This would be the start of week four. Now, just show you one more time here. It's starting at 229 pounds, so I lost 11 pounds in the first three weeks. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Today is an eating day, and I'm doing that. <laughs> For my evening snack, I got this beautiful little uh, date square cake. Looks like a little loaf of bread. <sighs> Yeah, a good friend of my wife's made that, gave us a couple of them, so, yeah, being that today's eating day, I thought I better take advantage of that, because <laughs> tomorrow's fasting day. Alrighty. And, yeah, I'm going to do a little workout on my tread climber yet this evening. Keep that weight coming off. I ate pretty good today, so I need to do a little exercise. And uh, I feel more motivated to do exercising now that that weight's coming off. So that's a cool addition to the process. Anyway. Hmm. That's delicious. You all have a great evening. If you're a football fan, enjoy the game. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.